Today I'm looking at a couple of ATUs, antenna tuning units. Uh, they're both HF models. Uh, the one below is um, it's slightly cosmetically challenged. This one is a Drake MN4C. You can see the front panel here is a little bit faded, but it works perfectly well. Um, it's just that the, um, the paintwork here has, has, has faded out a bit. This is probably from the 1970s. Covers the HF bands, but it doesn't cover the WARC bands. It covers 160, 80, 40, 20, 15, and 10. Although, to be honest, um, between these bands, you can normally tune the antenna on uh, the, the WARC band, so 10 megs, uh, 18 or 24. It's not normally an issue. The antenna's got a built in SWR and power meter. It's got an um, antenna switch, so you can switch between a dummy load or um, four other antennas you can connect to the back and the tuner on top is an MFJ 945E this is quite a compact as you can see it's much smaller than the Drake it's got a power and SWR meter built in and this one covers from um, 1.8 megs from top band up to 6 meters okay so in many ways the job they do is quite similar you can see the Drake is far larger and you've got the little compact MFG. The build quality, as you'd expect, the Drake is a very, very solid uh, ATU. MFG is somewhat lighter, but to be fair, I've used it at 100 watts on HF and on 6 meters. In fact, uh, at a push, it'll cover up to 4 meters. I have used it at a 2 and a 4 meter antenna and it worked okay, so that's quite a useful feature. But the thing about these two is they're both rated at 300 watts. Now, we're going to have a little look inside these at a moment uh, and you'll see why I wouldn't want to put 300 watts through this ATU but I'd be far happier putting 300 watts through this one and I have done in fact you can run a bit more than that through one of these so let's open them up and let's have a look why and what the differences are okay use the MFJ ATU you can see the two variable capacitors which are the other side of these controls and you've got the coil with the various taps on it you can see here which are controlled by that switch there it all looks fine and, and as I say the ATU works quite well which just gives you an idea of the components inside if we go over to the Drake we we'll see we've got two much larger variable capacitors. The spacing between the veins is wider. They're just much chunkier capacitors. Interestingly enough, the coil is more closely wound. In fact, it probably made out of similar wire, but you can see it's quite different from the one in the MFJ and you've got the switching mechanism here because the coil I'll pull this back out of its case a little but you've got as well as the band switch you've got three different positions you can adjust on the front of this ATU but I think the key thing to the power rating these variable capacitors as against these and that is the reason why I'd be quite happy to put 300 watts through this ATU and in fact I've put more and had no problems I put the UK legal limit when I was running a linear 400 watts through here with no issues but much more than a hundred here and you're going to start getting some flash over in my experience anyway obviously it depends on the antenna match but that's the MFG 945E 300 watts that's the Drake MNC4 300 watts which one would you prefer to use high power with